It's a common enough sight and one that can be witnessed every day in millions of homes across the European Union. But what many people don't realize is that domestic appliances like washing machines, dishwashers, fridges, televisions and DVD players consume almost as much electricity every year as all of the EU's factories, offices and industrial plants put together. As energy use is responsible for nearly 80% of the EU's greenhouse gas emissions, that's a reality we should all be taking very seriously indeed. Particularly as an awful lot of the energy consumed in Europe today is quite simply wasted. Around 20% according to the European Commission. And households have a key role to play in tackling the problem. If you don't use energy efficient appliances or don't use energy efficient bulbs, you are wasting your money. And just for nothing. And it, it is really it should be very painful. It's like taking your euros, notes, and just uh, putting for on weight on fire. So why to do this? One way to reduce the amount of energy we use at home is to replace older domestic appliances with new energy efficient models. Some modern refrigerators, for example, consume up to 70% less power than models built just 10 years ago. Similar advances have been made for dishwashers and washing machines. The question, of course, is which new model should you buy? And that's where the EU energy label comes in. Most household appliances sold in the EU today carry these easy-to-read labels. The most energy-efficient goods are awarded A, A+, or A++ status. Poorly performing products get a red G rating. Energy-efficient goods are often more expensive than less environmentally sound alternatives. But, say the manufacturers, these initial costs can soon be offset by considerable savings on electricity bills. Besides, efficient appliances offer higher quality and better performances. Paolo Faccioni works for Indesit Company, one of Europe's biggest domestic appliance makers. Here at the firm's research and development center in the Italian town of Fabriano, company engineers are continually trying to improve the range and quality of products the firm has to offer. And that process, of course, includes improving energy efficiency. L'efficienza energetica è stata sempre una delle chiavi dell'innovazione all'interno di questa di questa azienda, perché se cerchiamo di mettere le cose in, in prospettiva, eh, l'energia è una delle risorse scarse che abbiamo oggi a disposizione nel nel pianeta, quindi è importante farne l'uso migliore. Indesit and a number of Europe's other domestic appliance makers are currently taking part in a scheme called Time to Go. The initiative aims to encourage anyone with domestic appliances over 10 years old to buy new goods, even if their existing fridges, washing machines or dishwashers seem to be working perfectly well. Critics, of course, say the scheme is little more than a marketing ploy designed to boost industry profits. But Indesit and its partners insist that Time to Go will bring real environmental benefits to the EU. Se noi cambiassimo eh, tutti gli elettrodomestici con elettrodomestici nuovi dell'ultima generazione, avremmo un risparmio immediato pari a togliere 5 milioni di auto dalle eh, dalle strade d'Europa. More and more households now own home computers, flat screen or plasma televisions, DVD players, satellite decoders and home cinema systems and every single one of these devices consumes electricity. What that means is that the makers of these so-called brown goods must now take energy efficiency every bit as seriously as white good producers like Indesit. This is an industry that uh, is a good, responsible corporate citizen. We've been building sustainable products for years. Uh, the, the fact that these products are becoming more powerful and you can do more things with consumer electronics, for example, or computers, uh, means that we have to be conscious of the fact that these products use more and more uh, energy. So we have to design the products in a way that the products perform, but that they're also uh, not harming the environment. Uh, and I think the industry has shown in the European Union that you can reconcile the two, the need to be environmentally friendly and the need to bring out bigger, better, more performing products. The EU energy label was introduced thanks to a European law that was passed in the early 1990s. But many more recent energy efficiency initiatives have come about because companies, sometimes with a certain amount of friendly persuasion from the European Commission, have agreed voluntarily to improve their products. For its part, the Commission says it's very happy to back voluntary agreements when they work, 
but it reserves the right to call for tougher measures if it thinks they may be necessary. Industry should grasp this initiative because it's also some way that industry could industry indicate that it is part of society and climate change goal, security of supply goal are not something that is not familiar to them. So I think it is also, uh, they also are citizens and it is part of citizens' responsibility to come with such a type of approach because it's more efficient, more fast and more beneficial for society. But if they will not work, definitely we will come with regulatory measures. Energy efficiency may not be the first thing that enters shoppers' minds as they head into town to buy new electrical goods. But by taking a couple of extra minutes to choose products that not only look good, but also consume less electricity, we can all do our bit to help reduce Europe's greenhouse gas emissions. And as far as the environment's concerned, that would be one very welcome gift indeed.